Now think about that. So he said, and that's why in, when you read Psalm 8, and he says, Whenever, what is it, a man that, that you're mindful of him? What is a man that you visited him? And he said, but you made him, you set him, you put everything under his feet, and you put him over all the, you gave him dominion over all the works of your hands. So that, and then God later on says, yeah, uh, concerning the works of my hands, command me. Why? Because you're on the earth, what you, what you command on the earth, what, what you, um, how can we say it? We, we could say it uh, King James style. But what it literally, uh, all this, well, he said, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. He didn't say whatever's bound in heaven, bind it on earth. He said, whatever you bind on earth, heaven will agree and bind it there. He said, whatever you, the, the way we would say it is this, whatever you permit, I'll permit. Whatever you forbid, I'll forbid. Why? Because I got your back. That's what God is saying. I got your back. You're my man on earth. The earth is yours. Talk to it. Speak to it. And, and then we see in Romans, the whole earth, all of creation groans, waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. And all God is saying, I'm just waiting to see who's going to wake up first. I'm just waiting to see who's going to show up, who's going to manifest as a son, who's going to start commanding the things to be done the way they should be done. People who will step into authority and speak the end result. See, people say, how do I pray? Just end result. Speak the end result. Let me tell you, and you don't just do it whenever something's going on bad. You speak the end result all the time. If it's good, speak a good end result, it'll get better. Amen? Amen? Just as, but see, we have to look at the unseen, not the seen. Too many people look at the scene, and if you look at the scene and change what you say based on what you see, then the devil will lead you around by the nose, starting little fires, getting you to chase him around trying to put him out. But if you can look past that and always be speaking the end result, he's got nothing to work with because he uses your tongue to start the fires.